Hi, this is Glenda. Last year, my husband and I made this soap. He wanted to make a soap that looked like a river, with cold processed soap on the side and clear melting pot in the center. I think he was inspired by resin tables, the kind that are made with wood and have clear resin in the middle. He wanted the main soap to be off-white, so we used this mica and added it to the oils before adding the light water solution. I wanted a fresh smelling fragrance with notes of cucumber, so I put together these three fragrances. So it's mostly cucumber melon with a little bit of peppermint and citrus cilantro. Surprisingly, it became very thick shortly after pouring it, which in hindsight was the first clue that something was wrong. Eventually, I realized that I had grabbed the grown oils, or rather the grown amounts of oils. I usually like to make more than one soap per session to cut down on the amount of dishes to wash. And instead of grabbing the 18 ounces of oils needed, I only used about 9 or 10 ounces, which meant that we had an excess of lye in the soap, or lye-heavy soap. To attempt to fix it, I put the extra amount of oils in a crock pot, and I chopped the soap and added it to it. The idea was that the extra light in the soap will mix with the oils and saponify them. Now let it cook. Hopefully this will start melting. We'll see. It took a while for the soap to melt and even when it did, it was not incorporating with the new oils. I think I should have used the stick blender here and that would have helped, but I didn't. So it took quite a while for it to become homogeneous. But it's melting. It took a while and it is on high. But that seems that it's going to work. So hopefully I will be able to salvage this. so much foam. I think I'm gonna put it in low. I don't know if the foam is from the actual soap or is from the glycerin. I think it's ready. Once it reached the mashed potato looking face, I decided to test the pH to make sure it was safe. The best method to do this is with a pH meter. But in absence of that, I had these pH strips, which I had read were more accurate than the single color ones. So I'm going to put some distal water here. The oil is still separating from it, so I'm not sure if it's coming together. But I'm going to grab a little piece, I'm going to stir it. I'm gonna use this. I think I'm looking for a number 11, which will be this. Or is it 9? I don't remember. So I'm going to dip it quickly. I think it's a number 10 at the moment. So I think. It's a number nine, which I think it means it's ready. But the oils are separated from it. So I'm not sure if this has worked. Like if I move it, they come together. Oh, it's strong in my eyes because of the fragrance. I would like for the oils to incorporate a little bit more. The oils are still a little bit separated. It's at 220. I think I'm going to turn it off now. I mean, technically it's done. I just don't think, unless I'm moving it, 
the remaining oils do not seem to be fully incorporated. lemongrass mint this will be to fragrance the extra oils that I added okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add them I'm gonna turn it off it's looking better it's looking more like regular hot process soap does The fragrance is probably just going to evaporate because it's hot. But I really don't want to wait until it cools down. That's 211. Where are my goggles? Because the fragrance is too strong with the heat. It's not that I needed to unmold, it's just to add another liquid to help it stay fluid so that I can put it on the mold more easily. I am adding some flower embeds that I had gotten ready for another soap, but I figured they might be useful in this one since there is no colorants or any other design on it. the following morning some of it's stuck on top but I think the rest is ready to come out my plan was to cut one bar vertically the one at the end and then the rest horizontally so after cutting the first part I turned the soap over and I cut the other ones where I saw the leaves so that the flowers could be seen Next I'll show you a picture of how they looked at the end and I'm also going to show you a picture of how the original soap looked because we did make it again and this time with the proper amount of lye. Now I'll show you briefly how I made the flower embeds in case you're interested. I made them with soap gel in a flower mini cutter and I also had one in the shape of a leaf so that I can also cut the leaves. I tried to make the soap dough thick enough so that I could place them where the bar is cut and they could be seen in two of the bars. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. I have included a link to several of the supplies used in case you're interested. You can check them out below. Bye!